LA Guns in January. Um, I can't remember exactly the last time um, we were in, I, I was in LA Guns. え、賞味さやかです。え、現在私はですね、ここウエスタハリウッドに来てますけれども、フィルルイスのインタビューの思い出。え、そうですね。あれ確かね、ロサンゼルスにまだ来たばっかりの頃で、え、ぶっちゃ
uh, recently we uh, we got a new bass player, but only in the last year. Well, he did, he's done a hundred shows with us so far. Scott Griffin, um, who, who we got from LA after Adam Hamilton quit. Let's see, uh, which albums uh, will you be playing at concert? Well, all of them. Uh, you know, we'll do we do songs from every record. We have a lot of records, so it's it's difficult to choose. Mm -hmm. Um, but we do stop songs from the first record and second record, all the way through Hollywood Vampires. Um, we'll do some songs off of Wake in the Dead and Tales from the Strip. We don't really have much time to do covers. Yeah. We are, um, it's coming up to the 20 year anniversary of our second uh, release, Copped and Loaded. Yeah. And next year, we're going to do tour just that record. It's going to be the LA Guns Copped and Loaded tour, and we're going to do the whole record from beginning to end, which uh, I'm looking for. It should be interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Thank you. Uh, uh, have you started rehearsal with LA Guns for that tour? I, we don't rehearse with LA Guns. Are we? We never rehearse. What? We just know it. Yeah. You know, we, we sometimes we, uh, if, if we're doing a new song, mm -hmm. we'll We'll learn it at sound check, mm -hmm. but we never rehearse. Wow. I, I, it's confession, I'm sorry, but we don't rehearse. Oh, great. We just don't. <laughs> uh, I heard uh, Tracy Guns is playing with other regards. Mm. I think Japanese fans are confused about it. Yeah, you. I'm confused too. Yeah. Please um, tell yeah. me why uh, there are two bundles with the same name and yeah. what you think about the other LA Guns? Well, you know, first I don't recognize another LA Guns. There's only one LA Guns and that's the LA Guns that Tracy left yeah. six years ago when he uh, started Bright Destruction with Nikki Six. And uh, it didn't work out. Mm -hmm. And uh, for him, and we were, we got on fine. It was very difficult after he left. We we, we lost a record deal and lost the tour, um, but we carried on, and uh, we we had very different guitar players. Uh, and eventually we got Stacy. And once we got Stacy, we started to get confident and go back in the studio and record. And and it soon became very obvious to us that we we didn't need Tracy. We were we were sounding good. Uh, writing good songs without Tracy, and at that point, around the time of Tales from the Strip, it was obvious that Brides of Destruction was finished. So Tracy was like, well, you know, wanted to come back, and we're like, no, you know, we have our own band now, you know, it's not, no, nothing, you know, you left, you know, it's, we wish you luck, go and do the Tracy Guns thing. He was, he, he did something interesting, he got the singer that was in the band before me, Paul Black, and the original drummer that was in the band before Steve, and he put together the original LA Guns, and it was interesting. Uh, it's not my thing, you know. Uh, it, Paul wasn't my favorite singer, uh, you know, but it was interesting. And uh, 20 years later, maybe a little nostalgia, novelty, perhaps. So, but they never recorded anything, they never went in the studio, they never did anything, so they really, so you can't really call it uh, the other LA Guns if there's no, no material released. Mm -hmm. And since then, Paul, the original singer, has left, and Nikki, the original drummer, so it's just Tracy with four dudes, that's not LA Guns, yeah, yeah, that's right. and, and, and I, I hope Tracy uh, can think of a better something better for him to do um, because it's it's a little bit embarrassing. Uh, I want to ask you a question. If uh, Tracy Grant, uh, he uh, will say he wants to come back to his LA Guns, what do you think about it? Would I join his LA Guns? Yeah. Oh, that's a good question. No. <laughs> it's not LA Guns. It's Tracy Guns with four guys. And uh, it's you know I don't I don't think Tracy will ever understand really how great LA Guns it was for him and is for us. He 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 always saw it as being his day job. You know his that's how he made money and it, he was always doing side projects, different projects, and 
he was, that was he was more excited about his side projects. LA Guns for him was just the old lady, you know, the the, the, the wife or the girlfriend of 20 years, you know. It was never really anything that he was passionate about. I don't feel the same way. I, I love it. I do side projects as well, but I'm an LA Guns guy, you know. That's my first commitment. And unfortunately, he, he doesn't have that, that, uh, that share that emotion. And it's too bad because, I, you know, I'll be honest, you know, it's a band that he's, he's, he played a big part in starting, but he walked away, he left it. Yeah. So what are we supposed to do? Just like split up, you know, he, we, we, he left at the beginning of Waking the Dead. We just finished recording it and we were doing the photo shoot, taking pictures for the, for the CD. Yeah. And he said, I quit, I'm leaving the band. This is terrible timing. So we carried on and, and you know, I have, I have principles, you know, and, and uh, I, you know, I don't wish him any, I, I don't think, any, I don't want anything bad to happen to him. I, I, you know, I just don't want to have anything to do with, with him or I don't really like his music. You know, he hasn't released anything, anything in, in like four years, five years. You know, it's like, he, he really needs to, he's got some catching up to do. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, uh, you had many solo performances. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard you will play acoustic solo concert in Sapporo. Mm -hmm. So, could you tell me about this project? Sure. I, um, I like to play acoustic guitar, solo, sing, play and sing. And uh, I, I, I did it a lot this year. I did it a lot of solo shows. Casinos, and uh, I, uh, I even have a, a, a charity that I'm involved in uh, where I go to the hospital oh, okay. and I take the acoustic guitar, yeah. but no metal, <laughs> you know, all, all like nice, nice, nice shirt and like nice hair and everything. Uh, puff the magic puffu, mm -hmm. you know, I like to do that. Um, and uh, I um, Sometimes I, uh, I can do it by myself, or other times I have one person do it, play guitar with me. Stacy does a lot with me, but I also have a friend in Japan, uh, Milo, the guitar player in Babylon Star, who is going to do the show with, shows with me in Sapporo. Um, that, uh, he, he's, he's my favorite uh, guitar player. They're my favorite Japanese band. Like, um, unknown Japanese band, mm -hmm. new Japanese band, and he's just, just fantastic, he's a fantastic guitar player. So I'm excited about that, and of course he'll be playing with me acoustic in Sapporo, but his band will be playing, I hope his band will be playing at least one show with us in Tokyo, and of course he'll be playing on stage with us encore songs too, so sure. I, I have a lot of, a lot of Japanese friends, a lot of Japanese musician friends. I've been going there by myself for the last three, four years and playing with my Japanese musician friends and uh, it's, it's been fun, it's been interesting, so, most of the time it's good, <laughs> so I had a couple of terrible moments but that, that can happen anywhere. <laughs> uh, will you have a day off in Japan? Uh, I hope so, I, I, I enjoy my days off in Japan very much, my last day off in Japan <clears throat> uh, I went to the uh, the war museum, um, which was fascinating, and then I, I got into a cab, and it was just a short ten minute cab ride to Harajuku, and I, I love to go shopping and, and look at the people in their like crazy costumes, <laughs> and um, you know I love the restaurants, and uh, that's that's what I like to do in Tokyo in my days off. Uh, in, in Sapporo, it's mostly family stuff, um, and you know, like I like to go to the uh, uh, the recycled stores. Is that really? Yeah, I love that. I love it. You know, find old guitars and old keyboards, accordions, and, and anything. You know, and it's just like I like that a lot. And uh, you know, the, the, the ones the, the the recycle stores in in Hokkaido crazy it's like a department store it's huge yeah. and everything you know like kitchen kitchen appliances or jackets and clothes <laughs> and instruments and cameras it's amazing I love to do that and because it's so cold there that you can't go out it's gonna be snowing and yeah. so really there's not much to do uh, you know I um, 
uh, for a special treat when I'm with my family in, in Hokkaido. I, uh, we like to go to the onsen, you know, the, 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 um, uh, it's a short train ride, 30, 40 minutes from Sapporo. They have these great ski resorts yeah. with the um, with the onsen, you know, with the with the hot tub yeah. outside in the snow, and and it's that's beautiful. Wow! Yeah, love that. Uh, so you like onsen, yeah. but American doesn't have a hot spring. Everybody put on the swimming wear to yeah. the Gen Z or yeah, yeah. I know so, it's not the same thing at all. Yeah. I, it is. It is so hot. The water is so hot because it comes from underground, yeah, yeah. and you have to put a lots and lots of mm -hmm. coal in. Uh, otherwise, you cook. It's just too hot. Yeah. And it's just amazing when the outside air, the temperature outside, is freezing, and 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 the water is just yeah. like so, it's crazy. I <laughs> love that. And then you get out, and all the steam comes yeah, off yeah. your body. It's good. It's, I love, I love to do that, but that's like a night off, you know, that's not really a day. And I love to go shopping too, I mean, just love, um, I love to go to the, 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 the department stores in, in Japan and look at the people, look at the, <laughs> the pretty girls, you know, they do, the, the girls make such a, you know, they try, they, they, they really wear great outfits and their hair is always great and always great makeup, you know. You know, girls in, 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 in America, they're kind of lazy, you know. They, yeah. They dress up, when they dress up they look nice, but, you know, the Japanese girls, they, they look nice all the time. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, by the way, uh, do you like Japanese foods? Uh, what kind of Japanese foods do you want to eat in this tour? Oh, well, I love Japanese food. I like all kinds of Japanese food, not just sushi, but, you know, like, I like the, um, the, 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 you know, the, the, the skewers, the, uh, you know the bachi, the little. Um, I like I like the, the the curry, the Japanese curries. You know uh, the cutlet, the chicken cutlet. The, yeah. Which uh, uh, part of the ramen do you like? Hokkaido, uh, Sapporo, or Sapporo, Osaka? Sapporo ramen is so good. There's a restaurant up there called Noodles for the People. <laughs> <laughs> Sushi, the sashimi, the the crab, the, the seafood in Hokkaido is the best in the world. Yeah. It's just amazing. For my birthday, uh, my wife and her family took me to this uh, big crab restaurant um, downtown Sapporo, and it's like seven stories. It's like a department store, and oh. and, and uh, you go and you sit down and you have like everything is crab. It's like a crab soup. Crab entree and then a crab omelet and crab, 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 everything. <laughs> Only crab, which is fine with me. I love it. And uh, yeah, so I'll be I'll be eating a lot, a lot of seafood when I'm there. Okay. Uh, so the temperature will be very different in LA and in Japan. Mm -hmm. How will you take care about your body? Hokkaido, you know, last, last time, Hokkaido is cold, yeah. but last time I was in, in Japan, in January, um, I was in Tokyo, in, in, a, in, a, in my sister-in-law's house, and I woke up really early, and I was freezing, it was so cold, so I went downstairs, I thought, well, I'm going to take a hot shower, oh. so I, uh, I, was, I was so cold, I thought, well, if I take a hot shower, I can feel much better. So I, I'm just like in underwear and a little towel, and I'm turning on the tap, and and the water is not, it's not getting warm at all, and it it, it was just freezing, freezing water, and I thought, well, okay, well, it's gonna it's gonna get warm soon. So I, I got in and I took this freezing cold shower, and this freezing cold day in Tokyo, and then I ran back upstairs and I was like, oh my god, I'm so cold, I'm gonna have a heart attack, and I guess I pressed the wrong switch and the, the, there was no hot water and uh, I, uh, I nearly died. It was so cold. It was so cold. It was like the Arctic. Um, it is colder there. In January, it's crazy. And in, and in uh, Tokyo, it's cold, but Hokkaido is just ridiculous. It's, there's so much snow. It's like, you know, 10 meters of snow. On, on the side of the street. I've never seen anything like that. And then uh, three or four times, it, it can be sunny like this, it'd be nice. And then all of a sudden, it's like this 
snow, huge, huge snow like mm -hmm. this coming down. And uh, everybody is like, oh, it's okay, no big deal. They drive and they go about, and it's like nothing bothers them. If that happened here, it would be state of emergency. <laughs> Okay, it's the last question. Okay. Uh, what do you want to tell your Japanese friends? I think I've said everything. You know, I I I'm, I, I really love coming to Japan. I, uh, it's, I it, it's pretty much a regular thing for me now around Christmas time. Uh, I like to get out of there. I don't like Christmas at all. You know, it's just too commercial. And I like to, that's a good time to go. And uh, I've been doing it, and, and it, it just keeps getting better. Every time I'm over there, I, uh, I just have a, have a great time. Of course, my language isn't getting any better at all, but um, I, uh, I, I am enjoying it. And I'm really excited about coming back with the band and uh, having fun with my friends, from my Japanese musician friends, and getting them to come out and play songs with us. That's, that's good. And my friend, uh, for the Japanese fans, great. I see you soon, and uh, let's party. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very nice. すごいね。すごいでしょ。かっこいいでしょ。かっこいい。あの、俺もね、昔は上半身裸ぐらいの勢いでね、ギターも弾いたんですけどね、あの腹筋割れてなかったけど。今やっちゃったらもう大変なこと